Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. If I'm being honest, I did not make as much stuff this month as I thought I would have. I mean, I have a tons of excuses as to why, but we did have that socation. And so I really thought I was gonna be able to bang out a bunch of stuff, but in between like hanging out and going out to dinner and meeting up with um, other sewists in that area, um, I didn't get everything done there that I wanted to, but I did get some really big projects done. So I guess in the grand scheme of things, um, in terms of like the amount of time it would have taken to make a project anyways, I did get a lot done, I guess. Either way, let me show you what I did make. So I've been talking about making Carolyn pajamas again for some time now. And you guys remember I had that really cute llama fabric picked out so that I would have llama pajamas and I finished them. Um, this one's inside out, <laughs> not prepared. Um, but here's how they look. I am going to be doing a much more detailed video of these pajamas so that you, you guys can see it on me and see what the shorts look like and everything. But here is a quick little preview. They are really adorable. I love the short sleeve and then the shorts combo. I find it to be kind of perfect for wearing around the house. Um, I think if I would have done the long sleeves or the pants, it would have just been too hot. So I'm really happy that I went with that decision personally. Um, and the fabric is just so cute. And I mean, llama pajamas. That's all I really need to say. Um, so fun. So yeah, those are the Carolyn pajamas, really great pajama pattern, um, kind of popular. I'm sure you've heard of it before, um, but very detailed, but it does give you a really professional finish, which is important. Okay. So the next thing I made, um, you did see, well, if you watched my video a couple days ago, you saw simplicity eight, five, five, four, um, the kind of flowy trench coat, um, this turned out great. It was exactly how I envisioned. I really just riffed off the um, the sample garment on the cover of the pattern and I have no shame about that whatsoever. Um, the fabric that I used is perfect. It is a tencel twill I got from Stylemaker Fabrics. I will link the video if you didn't see it so that you can get all the details about this, but it ended up being really the perfect fall layering piece. I mean, in the South, well, in Charleston, it's been 70s. <laughs> so to have this and throw it on over like a light sweater has really been, has really been nice, especially when it's cooler in the mornings and in the evenings. Um, but the fabric's a little more heavyweight, I think, than I originally thought. Like I didn't know it was going to be this as warm as it is. I mean, by no means a winter coat or anything, but it isn't just like a thin veil either. So that's been really good. Um, and I just love all the details that went into it. There's a little surprise, which is a lot of fun. So yeah, you can learn all about this in um, the video that I linked. And then I also posted about this, but it is my fur coat. Um, so I made this right at the end of last month or beginning of this month. I can't remember now, but, um, but here she is. She's so luxurious, so extra, so bougie, and I'm so here for it. I really love this. Um, I did a video on this one as well. So I will link to that so you can get all the details. Um, the fur came from Stylemaker Fabrics. It was still available when I posted the video originally. So I'll check and see if it still is, but, um, but yeah, it's a really great fur, but to be honest with you, um, Joanne has many faux furs and right now they seem to be on like a super, super deep discount. Um, because I think they are afraid that they were going to have them in the spring and not have anything to do with them. So, um, so yeah, go buy up all the furry fuzzy fabrics and make yourself a cute little coat. This was my sew frosting entry. Have they picked a winner for that yet? I feel like I still see people making frosting. Hmm. Anyways, so those are, that's all I have for completed garments. I know, like I told you, when it comes to makes, I'm either 
I have either like 50 things or like two things. I'm never really anywhere in the middle, but I did cut out that leather fabric that we discussed in the plans video. Um, I did decide to make that little pinafore dress. So I have that cut out ready to be sewn. As you know, I'm working on my, um, sew along with the Vogue jumpsuit and jacket. Um, so things are being made things just aren't being finished. <laughs> um, here's another example. I did pull up my mannequin so you guys could see how far I got. Um, basically the whole lining is put in on this trench coat that I've been working on for almost a year now. Um, I think it'll be a year in like February maybe, but all that's really left is buttons, uh, button holes, obviously, is that it? That might be it, guys. I don't know. Um, I couldn't finish. Oh, and then the belt. I couldn't finish um, the everything in Beaufort because I forgot the piping. And so I couldn't make any or forgot the cording. So I couldn't make any piping. And so I couldn't finish the belt. But everything else is pretty much done. And I just need to put the buttons on and really just spend some an afternoon on it and it'll be done but she's really close and she's really pretty and i i need to get her done so that i can wear her already right i know i know i know i'll get to it okay but that is going to do it for me today super quick makes video but stay tuned for december um because i will have um the sew along garments to show you hopefully that leather pinafore will be done so i'll have some things i'm going to work on a plans video um in the next couple days so you'll get to see exactly what i'll be working on but that's gonna do it for me today i'll see you all very soon bye